Most people in life are looking at how do I make a life worth living in retirement with having. When I'm sitting here in the evening hours enjoying the potential of mood light and stars, there's a helicopter flying across and I'm hoping it's the one I've been waiting for. But the reality is that in life we don't always know when that moment of time is going to come for us. But what we do know is that we have people in America, according to a woman who I just introduced myself with and I've seen a million times, telling me that she's making a lot more money as a microbiologist delivering food than she actually did for the University of Illinois. I thought that was kind of unique and when she revealed her mask I looked at her and thought you look a lot like Ashley who works at Jimmy John's and openly both of you look a lot like that monstrous bastard who's at bank here who keeps following me and interestingly beyond that you look like a man who is probably a son and a brother to you who keeps monkeying around near me during the morning hours that also wears bank your t-shirts. But the reality is in life we have to know who we can trust and I sat here this evening enjoying a piece of food gifted by a darling little girl who I would call a little girl based on how inappropriate she was in her social capabilities with an old man and how inexperienced she was in what to say and things at hand but the reality is somebody fucking monkeyed the wheels on my cart and when they monkey the wheels on my cart I look at them and going where in the fuck did you get your attitude when in life did you get your opportunities in life and who's going to pay for the liability that you just created on your life you see, you're here on your parents' dime. I guarantee you didn't spend your entire junior high and high school time saving all the money for your college. I'm pretty sure mom and dad did all the payment for your college bills today. They might have done most of the payment. You might have contributed a little bit, or maybe you contributed to your playtime in the $50 you spend at the booze shops around here. But bottom line, when you start to assault someone, when you start to attack someone, when you start to interact with their technology to the point that you delete files, and delete intellectual content because you think you've got rights to someone, that's when you're taking your life into your hands. You see, you can't get out of the lie in front of God. You can't get out of the lie on the fact that I had a wheel come off today that someone obviously monkeyed with because I had a cart that was destroyed before that a loving pastor gave to me. Someone else replaced that cart and some fucker came along and destroyed those wheels again for me. You see, all these little players want to think they're in charge of life for me. They are not in charge of life for me because if you're in charge of life for me, then I'm in charge of life for you. And I will take your life as quick as you try to take mine. Because isn't that what we're creating as a civil war time? That we're trying to figure out who's who and what's what and all these things going on? Or are you actually focused on your life and your life alone? That you're planning where you're going to be in five years time. You're planning what you're going to do in 10 years time. You're planning for your retirement in the future 20, 30 years time. Is that what you're really doing while you're at college? Or are you monking your whole life, playing in an old man's stuff, stealing from him regularly, ruining his intellectual property, destroying your life, fucking around in medical records that aren't yours and that are mine, and are you doing that, ruining a man's privacy today? You see, when people harm a body, when they sexually assault someone, when they harm someone, when they rape someone, when they ply their way through them, it pisses them off. And let me tell you, when that military accountability comes through, you might be looking down the barrel of a gun. You see, COVID is a way for the entire world to get your markers, to get your schematics, to get your lineage, to get your genetics. Do you understand that? That just as much as they can put a shot in your arm, they can extract things from your arm by pulling that shot information. But also what you're doing is giving your medical rights away to a nation. That's not really the way that God wants our medical handled, rights handled today. It's not how he wants our privacy rights handled either. But I've had players putting their hands in and out of my property. Last night I woke up to some little white boy playing outside my stuff and I just want to look at him and go, what are you, two? Are you three-year-old that you can't figure out where your boundaries begin and end? And did your mom and dad really pay you to come to campus to fuck around in someone's property bags? That you had to steal a package full of condoms because you're too immature to use your mom and daddy's credit card to go buy them yourself? Openly you abuse someone. Openly you harangue someone. Openly you harass someone. Openly you have insulted someone. Openly you've created psychological abuse of taking things out of someone's bags, putting them back, taking things out of the trash that were thrown away, putting them into the person's pockets and whatnot, and you fucked your life in doing this. You are mentally unstable, motherfucker. Go get a life.